And for your information, the same applies to jihad. Many of us speak about jihad. And unfortunately, I have been misquoted. And some out of mischief have said that I said that the verses of jihad are irrelevant, inapplicable. It does not matter anymore, etc. These were tales of the past. A'udhu billah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us. That is the furthest from the truth. The reality is the verses are applicable, but the application of those verses governed by strict conditions, rules, regulations, do's and don'ts, where, when, how, etc. If you don't look at it, you cannot just kill those who are around you from among the non-Muslims or those you disagree with or those whom it suits you to call them, for example, kuffar, and you start killing and harming and hitting and taking a verse of the Quran to substantiate your misbehavior and your unacceptable action. And then you say, this is jihad, fi sabilillah. It is not at all jihad. That is not what the verses were revealed for. These verses are indeed valid, but let's not be confused. The application of these verses are governed with very strict conditions, rules, regulations, just like salah. There is a time, there is wudu, there is a place you have to face a certain direction. You will start in a certain way, you will do certain things. There has to be all these conditions, rules and regulations met, and then your two units of prayer shall be accepted so the same applies let's not misconstrue when there were instructions that were issued to the sahaba radiallahu anhum they were definitely for the sahaba radiallahu anhum like i've always said the lesson is for every one of us but how to extract rules and regulations from those verses is not the job of everyone it is the job of the specialists those who know those who are the jurists and the jurisprudence experts they will look into those verses and they will translate they will explain this is how you derive a ruling this is when it is applicable this is what was meant by this verse here is another verse explaining this verse and i explained yesterday when i was talking about the surah al mumtahina and i explained about the relationship of the muslims with the kuffar and i told you that in verse number nine allah says that he does not prohibit you from having a relationship with those from among the kuffar who have not fought you they have not harmed you they have not driven you out of your homes subhanallah and here comes a wise crack taking a verse of the quran saying oh all the non-Muslims need to be killed. Astaghfirullah. How did he get that? It's this is what we say when we say, be careful. The application of these verses is very, very strictly governed by rules, regulations and conditions. We need to understand them. Islam is definitely a religion of peace. In this masjid, perhaps 10 years back, I had said, that Islam is a religion of peace. It stands for peace. It promotes peace. It will mean peace. When you practice it, you will achieve the peace in the dunya and the akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. I felt it important to clarify this because there are so many people out there on social media and elsewhere who put words into your mouth and they make you say things that astaghfirullah you never meant and you never ever said but it suits them and their agenda to do that. Therefore, they try and tarnish, not just you, but the message of the deen. And they try and con the unsuspecting masses into believing that Islam promotes the haphazard killing of anyone you disagree with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. That is definitely something that I felt in my heart needed clarification. And I'm thankful to Allah for giving me this opportunity to clarify this.